In this video, I'm going to talk about complement. And in particular, I'm going to talk about the classical and mannose binding lectin pathways of the complement system. Now, as I've discussed in previous videos, the complement system is all based around this molecule, C3, and its conversion into C3A and C3B. C3B is a particularly important one because it's the one that continues on to form the membrane attack complex. Now this whole section of the system is part of the alternative pathway and it's common to all three pathways of the complement system. So let's talk about the classical and MBL pathways. They involve this molecule C4B2A, which is a C3 convertase. That means it catalyzes this reaction. Now C4B2A is made from C4B2. And the C2B portion is cleaved off it. C4B2 is made from C2 and C4B, which is pretty logical. Now C4B is made from C4, which is cleaved into C4A and C4B. Now C4A, C2B and C3A play no role in this pathway but some of them have other functions which we won't discuss here. So both the mannose binding lectin pathway and the classical pathway catalyze these two reactions here, which is a conversion of C4 into its components and the conversion of C4B2 into C4B2A. So let's talk about the mannose binding lectin pathway. Mannose binding lectin is a protein which senses carbohydrates on the surface of pathogens. So when it senses the carbohydrates on the pathogen, it activates this system. Now these are only very specific carbohydrates, not all carbohydrates. Now the classical pathway occurs through the formation of this complex called the C1QRS complex, and it's formed on the surface of a pathogen. What happens is that IgM or IgG antibodies, which I've drawn in here, are produced by B cells and then bind to a specific pathogen. These then bind the protein C1, which then causes the formation of the C1 QRS complex, which then goes and initiates this pathway. And that's an overview of the complement classical and mannose binding lectin pathways.